Hi, my name is Doug with Namco, and I'm here to share some information concerning the selection of limit switches. Switches have different operating characteristics which offer many advantages or disadvantages in a specific application. For example, if you're trying to indicate mid position during valve travel, you'd want to switch with a large total travel, such as 90 degrees, so that you don't break the mechanism by pushing the switch beyond what it is capable of handling. If you had this same movement with a switch with a shorter total travel, you could very easily destroy the switch simply by poor setup, something we all want to avoid. Conversely, if you are working with a smaller valve, where there is very little travel and you are trying to check end position, not mid position, a switch with short trip travel would be most suitable. If you try to use a switch with longer trip travel in the same application, you may not be able to set the switch up so that it'll even see enough movement to trip. And these are the reasons why you should always look at the characteristics of a switch being selected. One size does not fit all. Visit namcocontrols.com for more information. Thank you.